Hey everybody, my name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to talk about post categories and post tags, and what they are and how you use them by default. There's always plugins that alter their default functionality, but we're going to go over how to use them by default. So here we are on the dashboard. Under the posts menu, when you hover over it, you'll notice two items, one called categories and one called tags. So when you open the categories column or the categories page, you will see a list of categories if you have them, or these will all be blank. Or, they're, sorry, there'll be nothing there, it'll just be blank. And then you can add a new category. So, for example, if your website is about sports, maybe you want to have a category called football. So that's the name. The slug is what goes in the URL of that category. So usually it is the name again, just all lowercase. And then if that category has a parent, uh, meaning if there's a hierarchy, so maybe your website is about news and sports is just one section of your website and football belongs in that one section. So you'd have sports be the, the parent category and then you have all the, the, the child categories. There'd be football, hockey, basketball, NASCAR, and whatever else there is in sports. There's a lot more, as you know, but that um, it then creates a hierarchy which keeps your site more organized. And you can add a description as well. It's not required. Most themes don't actually use this description, but some of them will. And the only way it'd be used is say you're on the category page, there might be a little paragraph at the beginning that then pulls this information. So you don't need to have a description. Some themes use it, most don't. But when you're done filling that out, you can click on Add Category. And you'll see it just added the football category right here. Now another way to add categories is right inside of your post as you're writing. So I'll show you that right now. We go to Add New under Posts. And on the right-hand side menu, you see there's a little Categories box. And if you're writing, and maybe you come up with a category that isn't in the list or that, that you hadn't thought of before, you can actually add it right here. Maybe that category is hockey. You can choose a parent again if you need to. Then you click on Add Category, and it adds it. In this smaller category input, there's no option to create the slug or to add a description. You would then, when you want to do that, you'd then have to go back to the categories page and you see it's, it's, in, it's in alphabetical order and you see hockey's been added right here and if we click on edit then we can go in and we can change the slug if we want to and we can add a description if we want to and then click on update when we're done. Generally posts are recommended to have only one category you can add them multiple categories, but the reason you want them in one category is because by default, the category slug, this hockey part, goes into the URL. And if you have the same page in multiple categories, it will go under multiple URLs, and that's bad for SEO. There are plugins to help you get around that, but by default, you want to just choose one category. If you want your posts or you need to have your posts assigned to multiple categories, you should get a plugin that either removes the slug, you can get a plugin that removes the category part of the URL, and you can get ones that, that force, um, force canonical URLs, as they're called, to help with the SEO. And tags are very similar. They're made the same way. You have the tag name, you have the tag slug, and the description. There's no parent there's no hierarchy in the tags. And tags are really a supplementary way to organize your site. So if, you have, if you're writing about football in the football category, and say your article that you're writing or the video you're recording is about cleats or about the best type of leather football, then the category would be football, but the tag could be equipment or the tag could be leather football or the tag could be cleats. So it's more of a descriptive term of what that article is about specifically. 
And now it can get out of hand because you can have a zillion tags in one website. So you want to try to limit it to, to the specifics. So having a tag about equipment is great for sports because then any article that relates to equipment, people can click on that tag and they can see a listing of articles related to equipment or about cleats or about sports management, whatever, whatever topics you discuss a lot and that may be pulled in from all different categories because you may have if you have a sports website going with that example still if you have a section about football and a section about hockey both of them have sports equipment so you can set up your site so people can read about equipment from any sport and they can filter it down to equipment from a specific sport and it can be uh, t t tag tags are a great way to help you organize your site but you have to think through which tags you want to use before you use them because they're really easy to add and I see a lot of websites that just have way too many tags. And again the same thing as categories there is the tag page under posts to add them and you can click on when you, well, when you add a new post if you scroll down on the right hand side you can add a tag. All you have to do is type it in, click on add and then the tag is assigned to that article. And if you don't want that tag anymore, you just click the X and it's gone. So that's a quick crash course on categories and tags in the default WordPress environment. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Make sure to follow and subscribe and check out WPLearningLab.com where we talk about WordPress daily. Talk to you soon.